Hey everyone, this is Zach from MyGamer.com. I am playing TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan. Published by Activision, developed by Platinum. And I'm just going to jump into a story mission here. I've been playing a little bit of this. And I have not played Armageddon. Normal. Shall we begin? All right, I'm just gonna play this single player, and I'm gonna explain why in a second. I just received intel from Casey Donnie. He says the docks are covered with containers filled with some kind of strange tech. Casey tried to get a closer look, but was chased away by some nasty-looking guards. My best guess is they're transporting the tech to the docks via the sewer lines. Looks like the Foot and Krang are planning a full-scale war. Yo, that's fine by me. They want a war? We'll give them a war! Ha! Ha! So as I said, this game is made by Platinum. Use the current to move around much faster. We're going upstream is much tougher. Um, They're using the sewers to smuggle goods. If I was betting, I'd put my money in Armagon being in charge. So Platinum, of course, is known for their action games. They usually stand for higher quality games. Sometimes they get a hit or miss. I think their most recent game was the... Uh, uh, latest Transformers game, but they're known for games like Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, Vanquish, these action games, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here falls in line with that. So you've got basically two attacks, light attack, strong attack, and then you could dodge with the trigger, block with the trigger, dodge with the trigger. Um, the gimmick here is you can play up to four players cooperatively online. This is just a single player game that I'm playing here because not a lot of people are playing this game. So it's hard to get into a match with somebody, let alone the level that you want to play and the difficulty you want to play as the turtle you want to play as. But uh, unfortunately the AI uh, if you do not play with other humans, it isn't exactly the smartest. They do all right. I mean, I've seen games with a lot worse, but um, it's nowhere near as good as playing with another human or humans. I played a couple of matches with, um, you know, one other player to a full squad of four. Now, what sucks is if you're playing with. Um, uh, you're just playing with uh, one other player, and if that other player happens to quit, you know, right in the middle of a match, and I'm getting just beat here because my AI really got hung up on the wall. The camera control also sucks pretty hard. Alright, so I just died, which is easy to do, and my retard AI buddies are way over there, so they're not going to save me. So when you die, it's stupid. You, uh. Oh. So I'm automatically play as Leo. So when you play, um, normally when you play in the multiplayer match, you kind of, you go back to your lair. And you have to, uh, just button mash the A button to eat pizza to come back in. But this is not an easy game. I mean, this is just a uh, normal mode. And you get pretty... Killed pretty you sure easily. Took your time. So eventually your other turtle buddies will come back if you 
Wait long enough. I'm picking up a huge swarm of bad guys. But if you die, they can revive you. And um, if you click in the right stick here, you could you get this kind of X-ray view, and it gives you a general idea about where you, got, you need to go. So those X's over there need to go that way. So each turtle, so you get light attack, strong attack, A button jumps. Um, and then you can use the left bumper to aim and then the right bumper to throw your ninja stars. So you can attack from a distance but it, it doesn't do a lot of damage of course. Um, and then you can use the left trigger. I'm dead. You can use the left trigger, um, so here I'll use a combo attack with the X button up here. So I just partnered up with Donnie. And you can kind of do your super moves. And you could do as many super moves as you want, but you do have to wait for a cooldown. Let's see, jerkins don't even work on this guy. Man, you just get demolished. And then when you kill a bunch of guys, you get those snapshots, as they call it. You actually get an achievement for beating a boss while eating a slice of pizza. You, you can see in the bottom left there, there is a bunch of items, and they're mapped to the D-pad. So you get items by collecting these green gem things, orbs. And you also get battle points where you can level up. So it's your benefit to collect them. Sometimes you find red ones that give you a charm, and char you can equip charms to increase your buffs. And uh, sometimes there's white ones, which are comic books, collectibles, to unlock. And they're just comic book covers. Yeah, April is your kind of commander-in-chief. She just tells you what to do. Okay, so here we go. Here's a red thing that you can break with... Okay, so I got a pizza. So the pizza would have... I got a full inventory, but a pizza would have been mapped to one of my D-pad buttons. Loads of these pipes have been broken. Why would they do such a thing? See, and then you get these invisible walls, and you gotta just, you know, beat these guys. It's kind of rinse and repeat. The levels are kind of uninspired, to be honest with you. I mean, so we've been in this sewer level now for, what, maybe like 10 minutes or so, and it's just kind of the same thing. You get a bunch of levels on the outside. It's not just, you know, linear, just walk to point A to point B. You do get levels where you have to kind of walk around, and you are free to try to look for... Um, extras and unlockables, but for the most part, the environments are pretty drab. The animations are really the good. Got some kind of dangerous weapon. You've got to take it away from them. Sending location now. The game is actually only runs. I don't know if it's yeah, if you can tell this from the stream, but the game actually only runs. I think it's only like about 30 frames per second. Not that there's lag. It just doesn't seem like it can be like it's as fluid, which is kind of a shame because Platinum is known for their Really fluid combat. If a scout finds you, the enemy will become more aggressive. Stay out of their sight. So I played a couple of matches. Um, just me and one other guy. And, uh... Guys, Leo found the target. Get to him as fast as you can. 
and uh, he quit in the middle of a match, and then I just got booted back to the main menu. So we were playing the level for a good 30 minutes. He was an idiot and had to quit for whatever reason, and then I got screwed and had to replay the whole level. You get nothing for it, so you don't get to keep any of your experience at that point or anything. You just get booted right to the right to the level, uh, main menu. And then you get these things where you get like so, so I guess this is a weapon they call it. And you, I'm gonna ride it in a second. I want to take this guy out. So this is turtle time, which it slows him down. All right, so I'm gonna jump on this thing. Take it over here. Like this kind of isn't fun, and the play control is awful. So now what? I don't know. So you can see something's in those walls. I'm assuming green orbs. See, I don't know where I'm going. There's no, there's this. Yeah. So you gotta, where they, th so they're throwing the sewer cap up, but it doesn't come down, and it's a big sewer cap. That thing has to weigh a thousand pounds, literally. Bottom floor. If they blow up the sewers, the entire city will be in ruins. You have to stop them. You got it, April. See, there's a charm. So when you finish the level, you'll you get this tally screen, and it tells you how many charms you got. Then you can equip the charms to give yourself some buffs. You know, plus 5% health and uh, cheaper, you know, uh, buying rate to buy items from Splinter and stuff like that. Let's see if I can get to the boss, though, because the boss battles are nothing special, actually, which is a huge disappointment. Uh, they're basically just acts of attrition. You have to just whittle down bosses through repetition, just using hit and run tactics. I'm picking up a huge swarm of bad guys. Be careful out there. Oh, I 
kick when here? What is this? <sighs> if a scout finds you, the enemy will become more aggressive. Stay out of their sight. Well, I got an achievement. Oh no, Donnie got caught. You gotta use your brain and your eyes, Donnie. How did I? Oh, Donnie so got caught. I'm not. I'm far. Leonardo. What the hell? See, so this is what I'm talking about. The AI is stupid. Three minutes to beat all these enemies. What the hell? I can't move. together took you longer to help me than I estimated boss yet. Some levels are much longer than others. And this one just keeps going. It's like there's no end to this place. Just <laughs> what I just said. Guys. Even April knows. point of that. There was no enemies there. They could have just skipped that whole entire sewer I'm section right there. Huge swarm of bad guys. Be careful out there. Where is this huge swarm of bad guys? Two guys is not a huge swarm. Let me 
mean way. Guess I walk 32 miles. If a scout finds you, the enemy will become more aggressive. Stay out blah, of the blah, blah. I knew it. It's the enemy. Guys, Leo found the target. Get to him as fast as you can. They're bringing in reinforcements. Okay, last boss, maybe. I hope. How are you holding up in there? Do you think you're getting closer to the end yet? Sometimes you get these red, uh, that's not a button, but sometimes you get these red buttons. If you hit them with the star, you unlock a secret. I've been down the sewers more than once, but I've never seen this place before. Okay, is that it? No. Hey, what's up guys who's just joining me here? This is Turtles. Mutants in Manhattan. I'm trying to find the stupid ball. Okay, here we go. After this, maybe.
here. They all have way too much energy. It looks like the bad guys have retreated, but something still feels wrong. Keep patrolling. Was there. I'm picking up a huge swarm of bad guys. Be careful out there. Cut it out. Turn to alt turn. Oh, okay, well. Alright then, that worked to my advantage, getting an achievement for that. And the other thing is, is if you dodge too much, you actually get dizzy. Oh, come on. Shell shock. Get a hold of yourself, man. You sure took your time. Can I fight this stupid boss now? Okay, this should be the boss. What's up everybody who's watching? I'm Zach from MyGamer.com. This is Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan by Platinum Games, published by Activision.
flash. Warning, what is this, Mega Man X? to what people will flush down their toilets these days. Now, now, Rap. You heard the guy. He's royalty. Show some respect. <laughs> hey, Fish Breath. We already have a dude calling himself king down here. Why is everyone so desperate to be king of the sewers anyway? And button mash. So the thing with these bosses you look in the upper uh, part of the screen there, you're going to see 5 of 7. So basically you just have to whittle down their health 7 times. They have a, a health bar that's 7 bars big. And this is what it is for every single boss. So it's really just, you know, an act of attrition. You just got to stay with it. And sometimes, I think if you do all those uh, side quests um, during the rest of the level, you get to fight sometimes like a secondary boss. So then it's like, for example, like level one, you got to play Rocksteady, and then the level two or level one is uh, or, uh, Bebop, and then the next level you can play Rocksteady against a Bebop. I hope these guys revive me. Thanks. Alright, he's almost dead. Ah, oh, I'm dead. I, I can't move my limbs. Step out of it. Phew. Thanks. See, the camera also sucks. Oh, get up. Come on. Total bummer. Hold yourself together. Better late than never, dude. Back to the d d drawing board. Okay. Now I'm really No, don't fucking tell me I died. I can totally handle this. Somebody better come in. No, see, that is such bullshit. What is most Oh, I fucking hate that. He had look at that. He had you know, one half not even half one health bar left. And then you just die because he does these suicide attacks. So fucking stupid. Now you gotta do it all over again. I'm getting a huge reading from the center of the bottom floor, and it's definitely not Slash. Alright, I'm skipping this because we just saw it. Is there no end to what people will flush down their toilets these days? And let the button mashing begin. He's royalty. Show some respect. But hey, fish breath. We already have a dude calling himself king down here. Why is everyone so desperate to be king of the sewers anyway? Let's go. Too easy. Let's go. He's biting me. Man, 
try and keep my distance and just cherry pick them while the AI does their thing. Bosses always just come after me. They never really go after the computer. Alright, he's almost dead. One life bar left. My super move. Says teamwork for wins. Yes, mission complete. Well done, guys. That would have sucked if I would have died from that last hit right there. Hold yourself together. All right, so you get a tally here. If you were paying attention. see my teachings have stuck yeah great so I got a few charms all right see so here's a good example uh, increase movement speed by 50% if kind if combined with ninjutsu sometimes freezes enemies when you attack increase item speed recovers health for every takedown blah 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 so these are buffs that you can assign to each turtle and you get to get a little story here. Well, well, talk about a stupid fish out of water. Uh, have your little fun, fools, but know this. Armagan has been promised dominion over the oceans of this world. Soon you will all be history, and I will be a king! <laughs> Run! He got away. How can he swim in that? Gross. Dominion over the oceans? Man, this thing just gets better and better. Maybe the tech in the containers is the key. April wasn't kidding when she said it was strange. It's not human tech. It looks alien. I'm gonna shoot a picture over to April to see what she makes of it. Check it out, bro. A nerd selfie. Were you able to learn anything new, Leonardo? No, father. Nothing useful anyway. The only good thing is the police have ordered a mandatory curfew, so we aren't as exposed as we could be. Hopefully the eggheads will be able to figure out what the heck's going on. That's it! Guys, check this out. April and I have been doing a close analysis on all the data we've gathered so far, cross-referencing it against news reports and police dispatches we've intercepted, and we've come to a perplexing conclusion. This isn't just about crime. Say what now? We believe Shredder and Krang are teaming up for an invasion. An invasion? Like, from out of space? Maybe, we don't have specifics, but it definitely adds a dangerous new variable to the equation. Oh, crud. Cool. I rule at Space Invaders. No, it is very not cool, Michelangelo. I fear this may be too big for our family to handle. But you said it yourself, Father. We're honor-bound to do something about it. 
Whatever it is. Yeah, Thanks, Nolan North. It's up to us. We can't stop now. No. No, we cannot. We don't have a fix on Shredder or Krang's exact locations, but they are definitely operating from within the city somewhere. Well, it's the best lead we've got. We're just gonna have to keep on hunting until we track them down. And Master Splinter and I will continue to monitor things from this end while you do. Outstanding work. Aliens. Now get ready for your next challenge. So real quick before I sign off, I'm just going to click on the multiplayer. Let's just, just to give you an idea of the uh, community that's playing these days. This game came out about a week ago now. So we'll just do find room, anything. So we got some people playing here. Let's oh, see, this is the level I just played. There's two guys, you know, waiting. Shredder on hard, Shredder on normal. So there's a few people playing tonight. Here's a full group. And then if you click on turtle loadouts, just do this real quick. So here's a uh, raft. You could upgrade some stuff. So is super shuriken upgradable? You hit oh, hit X on. Then yeah, you could spend your points to upgrade this stuff. So even though Raph doesn't have these, he's, he has these blue ones equipped. His brothers have these other ones. These are other moves that you can eventually unlock, I guess. Um, there's charms, so charms are those extra things you can equip. Sure. And then emblems are kind of stupid, they don't really do anything I don't think. Um, it tells you how to get them. Kind of like the challenges in Smash Brothers, I guess. See here, defeat 250 enemies, defeat 50 enemies, defeat 10 elites, 50 enemies with takedown. And it just changes your little symbol by your name, so it doesn't really do anything. But they're there if you want to unlock them, I guess. So anyway, this has been Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. Again, by uh, Activision, uh, developed by Platinum. My name is Zach. I'm the editor-in-chief of MyGamer.com. I also blog at SquallSnake.com. Uh, check us out. We're going to be streaming actually tomorrow night. If you're watching this now, we're going to be streaming o Odin Sphere on PS4. The game doesn't come out for another week or two, but we got it early, and we're going to be streaming it tomorrow uh, night, which is Wednesday. So come and join us on MyGamer. Follow us on Twitter at MyGamerNews, and you can follow me on Twitter at ZachGaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. Thanks for watching and game on.